It will be in a moment, but not yet. All right, so this is Friday, January 31st. Uh, blah, 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 bell work. All right, going through here, we'll try to help you guys learn. If you are not able to come up with words, hopefully we can help you come up with something to go in there. For ped slash pod, both of which mean foot, I gave you a pedicure, which is where you get your feet did. Uh, I gave you a pedestrian, which is someone who walks. What other ped pod words do we have? Luke? Pedometer. Pedometer. Nice, Luke. The thing that counts how far you walk. Font? Podophile. Podophile, someone who loves feet. Omni? Pedal. Pet, nice and honest. And you push with your feet. Pedal as in on a bike, not pedal as in on a flower. I mean, you can oh. kick those, but it's spelled T, so it works a little different. Font? Pedestal. Pedestal, nicely done. Something that you stand on. Yes? Tripod. Tripod, and it has three feet. We should often use bipod and monopod if you want to get really sassy, too. Because how many feet on a bipod? Two. Two. How many feet on a monopod? Mm -hmm. And a quadpod? Four. 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 Just check. Quintopod? Five. Five. Six. It's uh, five. Random number. Right, so no, <laughs> uh, and apparently, no one said a podium. Podium, because you stand behind it with your feet. Nicely done. So that's called a podium. Lamb. How about a pseudopod? Pseudopod, which is a fake foot. Nicely done. Pseudo, not suit, as in, <laughs> but pseudo, as in P S E U D O. Pseudopod, like with uh, those little. Um, Amoeba? Yeah, so those are like little scientific things that are in water that have like fake feet. They're called pseudopods. They have like they grow little nubbins. And so sentences, you can come up with any of those that work for you. I'm not going to spend that. You should have four sentences for each thing. Not four sentences, but four, four, four. So hopefully that helps you out. So for a total of 12. Total of 12 sentences. Four words for each section. Oh, Since it says create three more, and apparently counting is a tricky thing. Gabby. Do we have to be like good sentences, or can they just be like. Hopefully, they should be better than I saw a podophile. You should be able to tell me, like, the podophile tickled my feet. And that would be. <laughs> so, that would, so, something where it tells me more that you know what it means. Keegan? Did we have to copy down the sentence? Nah, you can do your own if you want to skip mine. As long as you have four sentences, I'm happy. Then pop, meaning people, pop culture, meaning popular culture, populist, and Keegan? Pope. Pope? No, but a good try. That would just be the Pope. Yes. Popular. Popular, which is where the pop culture comes from. Uh, yeah? Population. Population, which I threw over here as a try to hint to help you guys out. Uh, font? Populate. Populate would work also. Nicely done. Uh, yeah? Populated. Pop Different variations of the same word. You yeah, can't keep uh, can't keep conjugating populate. Nicely done, though. Populator, someone who populate. Yeah, nicely done. Uh, so that gives you that. And then down to mot, to move. Demote, meaning to move down, like you get demoted at your job. Uh, motive, your reason for moving. Gabby? Remote. Remote, to move from a distance. Patty? Motivation. Motivation, your reason to move. Going up there with motive and motivation. Yes? Motion. Motion. The, the motion or the, the movement itself. Font? Premote. Premote? As in. Promote. <laughs> Promote. 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 But promote, yes, to move upward. That would definitely work also. So promote, demote, motive, motion, <laughs> all of those work. Me. Questions about all of those? Hopefully I gave you words. For the most part, all you're going to have to do from there is just write the sentences, and it should be horribly challenging. Then, we covered this with you guys, the three weapons. We got to there, the big battle. And then who's holding up the sky? Uh, Atlas. Atlas. Nicely done. And we have uh -huh. Zeus, who's now taking over. Where does Zeus live? Mount Olympus. Happy thrones. Oh. We're going to start filling those in today. The three kingdoms. Zeus rules. Oh. Sky oh. world. Or above world. Above world. Everything about the water and the underworld. <laughs> Nicely done. Ground on up. He rules all the gods that are on the ground. So everything above the world. Poseidon rules. Water world. Everything that touches water. Sea world. And then Hades is. Underworld. underworld. And then at this point, where Zeus decides he's going to start filling in the other thrones. Who gets the first throne on Mount Olympus? Him. Him. Himself. Who gets the next five? His brothers. brothers and sisters. So now we're going to start filling in those thrones. So here's where you get to turn back to your table of contents. 
And we're going to have you make this entry, which will be on the homework side. It's the same as the homework. It should be number five, January 31st. And you're going to create a chart. So we're going to fill in the 12 gods. And you're going to have to write in there their action and what you say for each one. They're going to be God, their action, and what you say. What do you mean? What you say. As in, we're going to go through, you're going to memorize the God. So basically, the, what you say is what they're going to be God of. So a God, what they're going to be God of, and then an action to go along with it. Is this where I go like... Where you're going to stand up and memorize it and get B points? No. Why? I thought you just yeah, I put it on the right there in front of her. She's not being lazy. It's cray cray. People need to learn on the right. What? No, no, I said don't squirt me because. Even though you're doing it on the wrong side of your elbow, not do the whole thing over again. You should have scored it. You should have scored it. Now, you're ready to take this away and I'm going to move on. The only thing you really need is the part where it says number 1 through 12 God, God of, what you say. And it doesn't really matter what order those parts are in because you'll figure it out as we go through. God, what are the God of, and an action to help you remember. Atlas got a strength. Wrong. Yes. Is it gas? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Much more of a Swedish thing. I apologize. So unhidden. Have you seen that Joseph Hero commercial when the Swedish guy is like, what do you think? Uh, no. It's hilarious. I don't watch many commercials. Fast forward to them. I don't watch TV. That's when you play it. Yes. I have children, so it means I don't get to watch TV when it's actually on. I watch it like five days later, five minutes at a time. Oh. Children, they're awesome. Yes, we are so, we're so awesome. We're so awesome. I love, I'm so awesome. I love my parents. Right, so yeah, I'm going to grab the remote. Nice. There we go. All right, God, action, and what you say is just what they're going to be the God of. So hopefully you're on the left hand side of your notebook, the, the, the homework side, so we can work together. So the first god to get a throne on Mount Olympus, the most important god of all of them is Zeus. Zeus. Right, so you got that one down. So you go ahead and have Zeus down. Z E U S. Hey. This for uh, what he's the god of. We'll do that one next. And what is his role? He is. Sky, sky lightning. More importantly than just being this, this king. God. I love God. There you go. He's the king of all the gods. He is the sky god, but more importantly, he's pretty much the king of all the gods. Unless they're in the water or underground, but no one cares about those gods, so we're fine. <laughs> Chloe? Is that why in Spanish they say Jesus instead of Jesus? No, it's just the way it's pronounced. Um. Unless it make it cooler than yes. Jesus. That's why. <laughs> It's For the Zeus. action that will help you remember as we go through to the memorizing cool. with, with Zeus, pretty much any time you see a picture of him, um, he's sort of striking the same pose, and then the same pose, which is him in the process of smiting someone. Uh, so you're going to end up pointing a finger and holding your lightning bolt, so that way you know that you can smite them. That's the, 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 the pose. You'll probably see Cake uh, Manning doing his Zeus pose over the weekend. Tries to smite his wide receiver by getting him to run across the middle and throws it. And they get lit up. And the same thing like a football thing. Except they don't usually point to the guy they're throwing to because that would really make it easy on defensive backs. That guy. Throw to that guy. Unless they point the wrong person. That, well, that would be tricky, wouldn't it? That guy. Right over there. Every Snake time. eyes. So Zeus, king of all gods, points, hold the lightning bolts. Now Zeus knows what's good for him. And he usually does. Who is going to get the second throne? Poseidon. Poseidon. Hades. Hera? So many good choices. Well, let's find out. Raise your hand if you say Hades. Raise your hand if you say Poseidon. Raise your hand if you say Hera. Raise your hand if you say Demeter. Raise your hand if you're not sure where you are, what's going on. I appreciate the honesty. I don't even know who you are. Hera, because he doesn't want to get in trouble with the woman. 
gotta make the woman happy first, or she's gonna throw down on you. What? Yeah, and then she was his wife. Yes, she was his sister. Hey, they just knew each other really well. Trying to think about it. Alex, what Alex? So Hera gets the next throne. Now, if Hera's married to the king of the gods, she's the queen of the gods. Look at you thinking your way through that one. She's going to be the queen of all the gods. Now, given she is also going to be the god of marriage and the god of childbirth, but in most of the stories, it's mostly going to be dealing with her being the queen because of the fact that she's going to be the ruler that's up there. Valeroy. Does the order that you put them in matter? Definitely. Oh. Then for the hand sign that goes with her, there's not a whole lot of hand signs that are going to connect with her. You're not going to have uh, the marrying or anything like that. But I figure queen-wise, that's one we can easily do because what do queens wear? Oh. Nice and on. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and make like a big donut and you're going to put your fingers down and you flip it over and it goes on top of your head and it becomes a crown. <laughs> Now just realize, this makes it a crown. If you feel like being a pretty queen, you can make it a sparkly crown, and that's up to you. Just realize there's a difference between I'm a queen and I'm a moose. So you can keep them together, because she'll get really upset if you're like, you're a queen of the mooses. So, hold hands above head like it's a crown. And you'll put it up there. Keegan. Why can't it be cradling, cradling a baby since Queen of Child or because it's not. childbirth? It's she doesn't have kids. She does have kids. Well, she does. She does. We'll get to yeah. those. Yeah. Why don't you yeah, look over there? Just, Why don't you just have to drink Jimmy Throw down right now. Just fight. So yeah, yeah, she just doesn't like all of her children. Very, very she only gets to have four, but her husband gets to have hundreds. So it's like thirteen. Hundred. I know. So now that they, he's given his his sister slash wife a throne, he now moves on to the next most important people. And who's going to get the next throne? Poseidon! Poseidon, because according to the Greeks, the dudes are more important than chicks. Poseidon. And once again, for Poseidon, it should be pretty easy to figure out what he's the god of. King of the sea. The god of the water and squishy stuff. God of the ocean. Zeus, king of all gods, Hera, queen of all gods, Poseidon, god of the oceans. And I figure, if he's god of the oceans, if we were to take you and drop you in the middle of his kingdom, pretty much all of you would do the same thing as soon as you got to his kingdom. Drown! You know, one of two options. Either A, swim, which is what I would hope you would do, and so you'll do a little swimming ocean, or if some of you are like, I can't swim, I can just doggy paddle on um, and you're welcome to that. Others you like, I can't do that, I'm just going to sink. Um, so you have your choice of how much you can do when you're in the water. So act like a swimmer, or a doggy paddler, or a drowner. Given, you know, do the, you feel like doing that too. Oh, no. So that's fine if that works for you. It's just sometimes it requires coordination that you guys don't have. Poseidon, like, God, God of the ocean. So, yeah, so you guys can't even master swimming in one place. You're just, you're just slapping a child. So Couldn't we also do the wave? I don't know. Couldn't we also not talk at this point? Because that always work. Next up, after Poseidon, who is going to be our next one to get a throne? Hades. Hades is correct. He's not on there. No. Yeah, he, and he doesn't get it now. He gets a throne. The problem is he doesn't keep a throne. What happens with Hades is he gets a throne and he gets invited up to Mount Olympus with Zeus, and Zeus is handing out all the thrones. Hades gets his throne, but he's like, "So what's all involved in this?" And Zeus is like, "Well, we're going to have meetings. Guys have to come up and talk to you if you're willing to sort of help arbitrate anytime there's arguments." And he goes, "Oh." What was that part about talking to people? He was like, well, you're going to have to talk to him. He's like, <laughs> no. So Hades gives up his throne right away. He's the first no Olympian leader. to give up his throne and not keep it. He's like, I have a throne down in the underworld. It's really nice. It's made out of like rocks. That's fine with me. He's like, I'm just going to stay down there. So he gives up his throne and refuses to become one of the Olympians. So even though Hades is Zeus's brother, he's not an Olympian by his own choice. Not because Zeus is like angry and trying to punish him. He doesn't want to deal with the other people. So, now that we're out of brothers, who gets the next throne? Demeter. 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 So his sister gets the next throne. This is where Demeter comes in. 
And we've introduced Demeter also. Does anybody know about her? There you go. God of grains and harvests. Demeter, God of grains and harvests. Unfortunately, being as that we're in the middle of the snow time, it doesn't work as well. But for most of you, the grains and harvests are things that grow outside. And I know many of you don't experience much with stuff growing out. You say, like, no, I played that game on the ice. I didn't tap the stuff. Was Not quite the same. But I figured for most of you, it's in the summertime. It's your one time to experience the stuff that grows outside. And for many of you, it's probably the once a week when your parents make you go outside and take care of the lawn. And I figured, well, if you go out and take care of the lawn, luckily I've gone to the dances here at school, and I found out there's a dance that has to do with you guys going out and mowing the lawn. <laughs> so what you're going to do is the lawn mower. If uh -huh. you've never done, done the lawn mower, I can help demonstrate that to help you figure out. So Demeter, God of grains and harvest, the lawn mower is where you need to start your lawn mower. So you want to grab a little pull start. For some of you guys, if you've never mowed a lawn, it's scary. You want to pull the lawn mower, pull the cord, once it starts. <laughs> now, others of you are like, this road act, that's way too much exercise, yeah. I would never do that. In that case, you're going to have your riding lawnmower. In that case, you're going to have to turn the key, turn the key, turn the key, riding lawnmower. Turn the key, turn the key, turn the key. And so, you get your choice of whichever particular lawnmower you plan on. Either the full start or the more you walk and do the driving one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to spoil you. Patty? Can you just go like eat the cereal? Definitely not. It's a good try. No, you, you have to embarrass yourself. <laughs> yeah. It makes things much more fun for me. Like, what? Why I embarrass why myself. Can't... Keegan embarrasses himself by talking nonstop. We all have our issues. Alright. Lamb! What? Don't you think Demeter would be upset if you were mowing over her precious grain? Heck no, because you mow your lawn and make it grow thicker and stronger. And she wants it thicker and stronger. She had no problem with people harvesting. You had to go out there and harvest her crops. You didn't go out there and like chop down the corn and she didn't like slap you. She was like, good job, you harvested the crops. She wants you to harvest. It makes her feel good. Chop down her babies. She had issues. Now at this point, <laughs> who's our next one to get a throne? Uh, Estia. Nice. done. The next one on the list at this point is Estia. She's not on there either. Um, she always probably wait until it actually appears on there, because that way it makes things much more fun for me. Now, Hestia, she's the one that's right over yonder, who looks like she's made out of smoke. Hestia has a throne. She's an Olympian. She's on the Olympian list for years, but she also gives it up. But she is the very last god to give it up, and we're going to talk about why she gives up eventually. But for years in Greek mythology, she is listed as one of the Olympians. She's not made of smoke, as it appears in the picture. What Hestia was, was the god of the hearth and the home. Hearth, H-E-A-R-T-H. You know what hearth is? No. Uh -huh. It's like a little fire fireplace. Fireplace, nicely done. Now, a god of the fireplace doesn't seem like all that special of a thing, but realize they were pretty excited around this time to have a fireplace in your home because that prevented you from doing what they like to call freezing to death. So having a heart was really important. So you would pray to her that the fire wouldn't go out, your kids wouldn't become little baby sickles in the morning and stuff <laughs> like that. And then she was also the god of having a safe house. So because of that, she was the god of heart and home. She was one of the very few all-around nice gods. Almost every god we get into, there's going to be stories of them doing something mean and awful and horrible to people. Hestia, nothing. She was always a good person. As far as the stories we find, she was going around helping them and doing stuff like that. Which is why she doesn't stay with the Olympians. Because eventually she steps down and gives her throne to someone else. So at this point, we now have how many thrones filled in? Four. No. Five. Five. Those four plus Hestia. So she's going to be sneaky if we keep trying to add her back in. Because she does have a throne. And Zeus has now run out of brothers and sisters. Well, he wants to make sure that the people who have a throne on Mount Olympus stay close to him, as close as possible. So because of that, he decides to fill in the rest of the thrones with people he feels he can trust the most. And if you've run out of brothers and sisters, who would you pick next? Your children. Your own children. So he fills in the rest of the thrones with his own children. And that's where we'll get to on the Aphrodite? Other than that... Oh, what else comes due on Monday?